Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading um, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Mercury retrograde. All right, so let's see here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what messages do we have here today for my Cancers, please, for this Mercury retrograde? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Cancers during this Mercury retrograde. What do my Cancers need to know, please, for this Mercury retrograde? Grade. So we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Justice card, Libra Energy, and we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Fool card, Aries Energy, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the World card, and we have the High Priestess with the Page of Swords. So, Cancer, I feel that... Um, All right, so I'm picking up on two different stories, okay? So I feel like either you have someone who's coming in with a lot of communication, wanting to balance out the scales, wanting to give you their heart, wanting forever with you, okay? This person is wanting to take that leap of faith. They want to reconcile, but you don't know what to do here, okay? Um... I feel like spirit is, is advising you to shut the door on this and just focus on what you want, do what's best for you, and leave this alone. Now, for others of you, I feel that you maybe have met someone new, someone that wants to give you that beautiful ten of cups energy, someone that loves to cuddle, someone maybe even owns a cat. You know, someone here is just very like a homebody like you, just, you know, and I feel like I feel like this person moving forward is your good karma, okay? The problem here is, is we have um, a, a situation where maybe you are moving too quickly, Cancer, because you're still unsure of your feelings. You know, maybe you're leaving something behind. Um, I feel like you want to close out a cycle. Your intuition is telling you to close out a cycle, but maybe you're just unsure of this connection. So I'm picking up two different stories here. Yeah, see, and I even have, okay, for the first story, we have a player that's coming in to apologize, and you know that this person is non-committal. You know that this person doesn't want to commit. You know that they're all about the games. You know that, okay? You know that. And then for others of you, you have a situation here where somebody wants a Ten of Cups with you. They want a Ten of Pentacles with you, but Cancer, you just don't know how you feel about this person. You don't know how you feel about this person. You have two different situations happening here in Mercury retrograde. So for some of you, it could both be both of these energies. For some of you, it could be that you have moved on to someone new, and now that Mercury retrograde is hitting, you've got this past person coming in, causing you to doubt your new connection. I do see here, though, Cancer, you've got the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Six of Cups right in the middle. So for me, the King and Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, this is a connection that has gone very defensive. So what's happening here, Cancer, is I feel like... Like you have a stronger soul tie possibly with the past person than you do with the new person and that's what's causing the problems here but knight of swords and the devil you have someone that's pursuing you relentlessly here um uh capricorn energy could be an air sign aquarius gemini libra yeah someone here doesn't want you to invest in anyone else other than them i feel like yeah the past is coming back around big time the past is coming back around big time. 
I feel like this person wants to put it in your head that they have changed Cancer. Eight of Swords, the Death card, the Seven of Wands. This person wants to um, put it in your head. They, they're trying to show you that they have changed. When realistically, what this person is wanting um, is they don't want to lose you. Do you see what I'm saying? This person feels left out in the cold. They don't want to lose you because they were always planning on making you their empress. So they may be a knight. This is an energy of somebody who said, oh, wow, I, ha I have found an empress. Okay. This person may be younger than you, Cancer. So this is an energy of, I have found an empress, but I'm not going to be ready for an empress for a while. Okay. So I just want to take my empress, put this empress on the back burner. And when I'm done playing, then I'll have my empress. I could go grab my empress. Do you see what I'm saying? But this person is realizing that that's not going to work. Okay. That's not going to work. If this person comes back in, they have to focus on really, yeah, bringing to the table commitment and standing up to the plate as an emperor. They, they realize that. Yeah, and they're coming in with an apology. The sex is coming in with an apology to balance out those scales, Cancer. I feel like this person does want a new beginning with you. They want to heal this. This person maybe lied to you, cheated on you, was very deceptive, but they do want to heal this, Cancer. They do want to heal it. So you have someone that was in a nine of wands mode, a knight of wands mode. Okay. Someone here was, was just a mess when you were with them. But I feel now that you, this person realizes that they may lose their empress. They're coming in working on higher levels of commitment. So cancer, just be careful. If you're there, you are, if you're moving towards another person here, a newer person, be careful because you may end up uh, having to reject this person. You know what I'm saying? and you don't want to hurt anybody so just just be careful if you're dating someone new just kind of pull back a little bit because you do have um a past person coming in wanting to do right by you and the soul tie is going to be too strong for you to resist yeah you see we've got temperance here and the king of pentacles so we have someone here that wants to make peace and wants to come in and commit okay and wants to come in and commit um let's pull some oracle here Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Cancers? Please, for Mercury Retrograde, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got Increase. We've got Family. And True Love. Yes, yeah, someone is coming in and they want to go down that road with you, Cancer. They want a family with you. This person is, they, they love you. You know what I'm saying? This person loves you. They want to come in. They want to have a family with you. Um marriage you know what i'm saying if you can't have children then they just want a new beginning they want to start over they want marriage they want they want you to be their family this person wants higher levels of commitment so we've got victory all tied up and journey yeah, see, you're going to gain your victory when you get unstuck from this situation. As soon as you start to move on here, that's when your victory will come in with this person, unfortunately. Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages. Because that's just the way it is. As soon as you stop chasing something, it comes to you, you know? Past life relationship, you have known each other before. We've got honeymoon. And you deserve love. So you've got the past coming back. Uh, cancer to give you the love that you deserve you see you're going to separate yourself you're going to try to free yourself but this person is being drawn back to you to open up their heart and honestly tell you how they feel yeah this person is going to realize their feelings for you once you completely walk away from this situation actually i'm going to pull let's pull two of these we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. The soulmate connection is too strong for you to resist cancer. Plain and simple. Okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.